So today, the Home Secretary attempted to get on with her very important job, given she is the lone senior cabinet minister valiantly fighting to bring down immigration, fulfilling a critical Conservative Party manifesto pledge. Ahead of disastrous net migration figures expected to be announced later this week, which could come close to a horrifying one million. So Ella Braverman announced international students won't be allowed to bring their dependents to the UK unless enrolled in PhDs. Now, she says it is a bid to make a, quote, tangible contribution to reducing net migration to a sustainable level. In 2022, 136,000 visas of this kind were granted, up from 16,000 in 2019. So the government was right to say it is the single biggest tightening measure taken in recent years that will, quote, make a significant difference. But it's not even close enough. And Suella knows it. She dreams of bringing net migration down to the tens of thousands and stopping the boats by leaving the ECHR. Hence the craven and transparent witch hunt to try and force the PM to launch an ethics investigation because the woman got a speeding ticket and opted to take the points on her licence, having inquired as to whether she could take a private defensive driving course. But now the ideologues at the independent newspaper seriously think they've found the smoking gun. Wait for it, folks. The Home Secretary co-founded a charity called the Africa Justice Foundation with Cherie Blair, which trained Rwandan government lawyers between 2010 and 2015. Yep, that's it. That's the scoop that they think should be called Rwandagate and bring Suella down. Unpaid charity work carried out before she was an MP, which she clearly didn't need to declare. This is increasingly desperate activist journalism, trying to do the dirty work for the Labour Party. And sure enough, Angela Rayner ran with it today. As ministers know, the Home Secretary has already admitted to breaching the ministerial code by using personal emails to share sensitive government uh, yeah. information. So I asked the minister today, how many strikes before she's out? Yeah. It was left to Tory MP Edward Lee to point out why this witch hunt is not only ludicrous, but a targeted smear campaign because of the Home Secretary's political ideology. What's wrong with this country? We used to have uh, proper scandals about sex or money, <laughs> or about prime ministers invading Iraq on dodgy evidence in which hundreds of thousands of people die. Apparently this is a scandal, always moral outrage, is ludicrous, Absolutely. that a minister ask her private office about something and she takes their advice. What's happened to the Osmotherly rules? We all know what this is all about. They're attacking a good home secretary who's trying to attack the real scandal of mass immigration to this country. Give us a ball. So why is Sunak buying into this whipped up crap? It's obvious what's going on here. Prime Minister, you've already lost a loyal and effective deputy in Dominic Raab who is now quitting politics altogether. Don't lose your Home Secretary too. Refuse to refer her for another stitch-up of an inquiry and let her focus on reducing migration and stopping the boats. Then you might have a very slim chance of re-election.